Hey everybody, fun science video. Yesterday, we were measuring shadows outside and I wanted you to be able to see what the different periods look like. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. So first of all, while we're doing this, yesterday you were supposed to make a prediction right here on your sheet of what you thought the periods were gonna look like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kind of give you a top view of all the different periods here. And I'm gonna kind of give you a sweeping view here of all the periods. And then we're gonna kind of look at each of them up close a little bit and try to give you a view of what's going on. By the way, on the last one, I added a red one at a different time to kind of make it a little bit easier, all right, to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and look at each of these kind of one at a time. Remember, we're looking at the green which is the ones that are going to be more to the left. Remember that these other lines were on 122, all right? And these were on 322. So first of all, one of the things you're going to notice right off the bat is when you're looking at the greens versus the blacks, the blacks which were on 1218, excuse me, and the greens are on 322. You're going to notice two things. One is you're going to notice the green always is left of the black, which is interesting. And it also, you're gonna notice that they're different lengths. And we're gonna to try to figure out why that is. But let's go ahead and look at what we had each period. So this is first period. And you can kind of compare to see how you actually predict it. So first period had a length of 39 centimeters. And actually, if you look down here, this one actually went off the page seven extra centimeters. So this one is probably gonna go out here about seven centimeters off the page. And you can see that it is the longest shadow it's gonna be the longest shadow. When we look at the other ones, it was our longest shadow of any period. And you can also see that it's way here. You can kind of see that it's way to the left. So it's way over here, all right? So now we come over here to fourth period, which was at 12.28, uh, okay? We got fourth period here at 12.28. And at 12.28, you can see the green is again, the one on the left we had a shadow length of 12.5 centimeters, okay? And our angle there was 48 degrees. We come over here a little bit later, we're now at 120, and you can see that the shadow's a little bit shorter. You can also see it's moved to the right some from the last one. And this one, we're at nine centimeters, which means that our angle here for this period, most likely we messed up on our sun altitude tracker on this one a little bit. And I say that because the last one was 12 and a half. This is now down to nine, which means that the angle should probably be a little higher than 48. So my guess is on this one, we probably should have had an angle around 53, 54 is my guess, but maybe we did something a little wrong with the altitude tracker. We come over here to the next period and you see it's a little bit more right again, nine centimeters again for our measurement, and we're at an angle of 54 degrees. We come over here to this period. This is seventh period. This is at 248. And now we see that the line is almost straight up and down. It's like literally almost straight up. It's at 9.5 centimeters. And so we'd expect it to be a little, a little smaller angle than the period before, and it is it's down to about 50 degrees where the period before was like 54 degrees. So, and then we come over here to eighth period. Now I did something fun on eighth period for you just to kind of help you out a little bit. I put two lines here for eighth period. I've got, I've got a green line and I got a red line. So the green line was actually done in eighth period at 227 and the red line was done at four o'clock. All right, so the red line, as you can see is longer and the green line is shorter. So the green line here is 10.5, so it's longer by a centimeter than the period before. And it's at, again, 10.5, and it's at an angle of 48 degrees. And now we have the red, the red is 14 centimeters, okay? It's 14 centimeters, and you can see that not only is it 14 centimeters, but it's also longer, all right? And it's more to the right. So it's not just longer, it's also, if you think about it, it's more to the right. And so I want you to think about all of those in kind of a sequence. And I want you to do two things. One of the things I want you to do is I want you to kind of look at all the pictures kind of together. And let's just kind of watch what the green line is kind of doing here. So we got it left, all right? And then it's starting to move up. 
and then it's starting to move up a little bit more. And now here it's coming up a little bit more. Now it's almost straight up and down. And over here, it's more to the right. And now it's really right on that red line, which was at four. And when you look at all those pictures kind of together, so if you look at all six of your boxes together, I want you to think if you're looking at all six of the boxes together, what is this reminding you of? And I also want you to look at how, what do you notice about every single black line? So remember the black lines were on one eight, whereas the green lines were on 322. What do you notice about every single black line besides the fact that it's more right than any of the green lines? What do you also notice is true about the black lines. There's something else that's true about every single one of them is something compared to the green lines. So see if you can figure that out. So when you look at them all together, I want you to also think, when you're looking at them all together, I want you to think like, what does this remind me of? What does this like look like? It should look like something in your life. And we're gonna start to discuss in class, what does these measuring of these shadows actually teach us and what does it tell us about? So that's what we're gonna do right now in class. Hopefully you have your pictures done. Science is awesome. And these measuring of shadows actually tells us something about seasons actually. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Have a great day and science is awesome, bye.